Hello there. This is um, going to be a big old painting. It's a painting on a canvas and it's mostly blue. It's all blue, a purpley blue. It's of a Thargoid Titan and it, it's the Thargoid Titan as it activates its sort of EMP pulse thing. It's a big kind of reactive magnetic looking blue shockwave that disrupts your ship and I'm assuming has some positive effect on the Titan itself. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I really enjoy uh, applying squidgy thick paint to canvases. It's great fun. It's really nice because you start out with the bold zones of colour and you think to yourself, well, I wish I could keep it like this. I love this effect. But then again, you think, oh, well, it doesn't quite look right there. So you keep tweaking it and eventually you end up with a picture that looks a bit like what you want it to look like. But you lose a lot of those broad brush strokes with the, all of the random colours that you get. Perhaps I'll leave a picture like that one day. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, yes, I, th I think I think one of the things that is so striking about the pulse is the Titan's colour is so orange. It is this ammoniacal swamp gas surrounding you the whole time you're in there, and you fight your way into the centre, and all the white light out there in the system becomes more and more dulled and redder and, and more thick, like you swimming down into treacle. And there you are at the centre of the maelstrom, the big dust cloud, surrounded by, you know, the hunting Thargoids and, and interceptors pottering to and fro with their, their great big beams, the yellow beams shining out from them. And then the colour change when the Titan pulse happens, it's so powerful that it really kind of shocks you. I mean, your system display glitches out, but it, it's almost like the muscles in your eyes are just attuned to these amber colours. And then all of a sudden you've got this enormously bright turquoise boom and the curving arcing lines of like being inside a motor coil. When you see the images of the magnetic fields of the Earth, the, the poles connected by those lines, it's like... That's exactly it. The top of the Titan is arcing out and it's connected to the bottom of the Titan with these blue bands of light. And you can just make out that the centre part of the Titan there, that's where it's coming from. It's really impressive as a, as a moment in the game. And, and the sound of it all is incredible too. That just compounds the feeling you've got. You've got used to all of these, the donkey noises of, of the Thargoids braying in the distance and the noise of the turrets shooting and and then you get the big spang it, it, it is sinister and alien and creepy and it and it sort of does sound magnetic as well with the lights around the center i've got those in my picture the the points that surround the central part of the titan's moor you've got each one of those is lit up and then the magnetic pulse comes and you just really feel like you're being somehow irradiated you're inside some sort of generator that you really you really shouldn't be inside and obviously it you get shaken about by it all I think one of the things that makes the Titan look so ominous and threatening and huge is the little asteroids. It's like it's so vast that it's got its own gravity or or that the power it can wield is so huge that it's able to tether all this rubble. Or maybe that it, it's been created from something and then the, the residual rubble left over remains hovering round it as a kind of memory of what's been destroyed to create this great hive ship. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching me doing it and I'll probably do another picture soon. Right, bye.